Do you guys remember when the green and purple aliens took over Los Santos and GTA Online? This happened a couple months after the pandemic first began. I don't know how this caught on or why this trend really took off, but basically you would just dress up your character in either the green alien glow bodysuits or the purple alien glow bodysuits, and you would essentially go to war with anyone else in the lobby that you saw wearing the opposing color. This became so popular on social media and in the game that Rockstar even played along with it, eventually giving away these bodysuits for free and they cost a couple hundred thousand dollars each. So giving them away for free was no cheap ticket. And they also gave away a lot of the weapons commonly used in these alien wars as well. So it became a really fun joke. Rockstar jumped into the fun and Rockstar liked it so much that they wanted to create their own in-game GTA version using Grand Theft Auto brands, not just necessarily colors like purple and green. And so what they did is they actually created this Sprunk versus E. Cola event. And so back in 2021 with the release of the Los Santos Tuners update, Rockstar introduced the Sprunk versus E. Cola event. It hasn't been activated yet, but this is what they included. They included Sprunk and E. Cola bodysuits, as you guys can see right here. For the Sprunk one on the back of the butt, it says the essence of life. For the E. Cola one, it says deliciously infectious. We'll talk about all the meanings of these brands in a little bit. They also added Sprunk E. Cola varsity jackets, and male characters actually get an open variant too as well as forwards and backwards hats, as you guys can see here. They also added a Sprunk and E. Cola parachute bag, which is pretty cool. And this would make sense for it to release soon, given the skydive collectible that we end up having. And then a Sprunk E. Cola livery for the hot ring saber. And you can see it literally like splits the two liveries in half, where you've got like half Sprunk, half E. Cola. So this is extremely cool. Now, Rockstar added this into the game again in 2021, but they never ended up releasing it. And we didn't really know why. What was Rockstar waiting for? But what we did know is that Rockstar does this all the time. They add stuff into the game, obviously through the drip feed, and then weeks and months later, we end up getting it. Well, with the release of the Criminal Enterprises DLC, Rockstar actually did something special. They activated tunables that allow us to have this sort of content. This comes from insider Tez Funds 2, who said not exactly new drip feed content, but those are from the LS Tuners update. Rockstar added new variables to enable the Sprunk, E. Cola bodysuits, varsity jackets, and forwards and backwards hats. Worth mentioning, we already have old variables to enable these clothes as a part of the Tuners update. But with the new variables added with this update, it grants the clothes for a limited time. So essentially what Rockstar did is they updated the tunables that allow this stuff to come out. And now instead of it lasting forever, like the green versus purple alien bodysuit war, we are only going to have this for a limited time, which I actually think kind of makes it a little bit more rare and a little bit more fun to enjoy, that this isn't something that'll be around forever. Now you guys might be wondering, what is Sprunk and what is E. Cola? Well, they're essentially two soda brands in the Grand Theft Auto universe. Let's start with Sprunk. Sprunk is a brand of lemon lime soft drink and its influence, as you guys can imagine, is a obvious parody of Sprite. Now, Sprunk has been around since the days of Grand Theft Auto Vice City, featured in San Andreas in Grand Theft Auto 4, and obviously now in GTA 5 and in Grand Theft Auto Online. There are factories and billboards and websites and products that you can have. You can get Sprunk from a vending machine. You can see advertising in the arena. You can see artwork done at the Diamond Casino and Resort featuring Sprunk, and even branded clothing that you can get for your characters in online. However, you've probably seen it most predominantly on a bunch of vehicle sponsors for the Bati 801RR, the Sanchez, the Mallard, the Sprunk Buffalo, the Faction Donk, the Brioso RA, the Nero Custom. They all have Sprunk liveries. Same with the Tesseract and the Hot Ring Saber, as well as the Paragon R, the Issy Sport, 
the Jugular, the Asbo, the Amorgon, the PR4, the Euros, the ZR350, and that's just a handful of the vehicles that have a Sprunk livery. So you guys can see that there is a huge representation of Sprunk in the GTA series and where we're going to be having this gang war in Grand Theft Auto Online. So that's the first side that you can be on. The second side that you can be on is E. Cola. So E. Cola is another soft drink brand in the GTA series. And if it wasn't obvious on what this is, this is a clear parody of Coca-Cola, but it's also a play on the Ebola virus that's been going around for obviously many years now. And the company's slogan actually states that the drink is deliciously infectious, which could suggest that the soft drink is contaminated like with an E. Cola bacteria or the Ebola virus, but it also could be a reference to the drink that it's parodying, Coca-Cola, because it once contained cocaine, which is obviously highly addictive. So that's the influence and the parody of E. Cola. And just like with Sprunk, you will see E. Cola billboards and products and vending machines and artwork that you can get inside the Diamond Casino and Resort. And you can even get clothing like racing suits for our characters and whatnot. And you'll also predominantly see vehicle sponsors like the Alpha Z1, the Havoc, the Michelle GT, the Hot Ring Saber, the Blimp, the Nightmare Dominator, the Impaler, the S80RR, and the Novak all have E. Cola liveries on there. So this is so cool. I am so excited for this fun gang war event to arrive in GTA Online. I really hope this releases soon and that this isn't something that Rockstar holds off till like next year, 2023, or even closer to the December update. Let's take advantage of it while the summer's still here, while we've got more free time, while we're not back at work or back at school, because this would be a really fun event to just have full lobbies in and just dive into. Doing things like car shows, fashion shows, and whatnot. This could just be so much fun. I'd love to hear from you guys, though, in those comments down below. What side of the fence do you land on? Are you team Sprunk or are you team E. Cola? And let me know why. Is it because you're a fan of Sprite in real life? Is it because you're a fan of Coca-Cola in real life? Do you like the colors of E. Cola? Do you like the colors of Sprunk? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. I think personally, I'm more of an E. Cola fan versus Sprunk, but Sprunk seems to be a little bit more popular in the GTA world. So again, let me know what you think in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.